Hey guys, Tawny here in the Curls Corner Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a breakfast sweet potato. This recipe has been trending on Curls Corner, so I figured I'd make a video about it. There are many ways to cook a sweet potato. As you may be aware, you can cook it in the microwave, you can bake it in the oven, but my favorite way lately has been cooking it right in the Instant Pot. It takes 30 minutes max, and they come out perfect every single time. First, you'll grab your sweet potatoes and give them a nice rinse. Make sure to scrub off any excess dirt that's on the sweet potatoes as well. Find your Instant Pot and the trivet that it comes with and you'll place that trivet down at the bottom. One cup of water gets poured into the pot and then you can set your sweet potatoes right on top of that trivet. You'll place the lid on and make sure that the seal is on sealing and not venting yet. We'll cook this on high pressure for 15 minutes and then we'll let this naturally release for another 10 to 15 minutes as well. So the remaining heat, that pressure inside the pot will continue to cook the sweet potato. The Instant Pot has come up to pressure now and as you can see on the front, it's starting to count down. So 15 minutes will pass by and then we'll just let the Instant Pot hang out for another 10 to 15 minutes and then we can add on our toppings onto our breakfast sweet potato. The pressure is naturally released now for about 15 or 16 minutes there and we're going to just switch this seal over to venting and all the steam has been released so no more steam will be lifting up. We'll take the top off and we'll stick a fork in the sweet potatoes to check their doneness. Remove the sweet potato from the Instant Pot using a pair of tongs because the sweet potato was pretty hot. Now keep in mind, if you have an extra large sweet potato, you may need to bump up that pressure time to maybe about 20 to 25 minutes, just depending on the size of your sweet potato. Now the fun part, all the different toppings. The world is your oyster when it comes to the toppings. I have a lot of different ones here, some of my favorites that I like to switch up. Banana coins, I have almond butter here, dried cranberries, granola, walnuts, cinnamon, I've even done chocolate chips if I'm feeling like something extra sweet in the morning. Make sure you get a really good drippy nut butter that makes it super yummy on top. Dried cranberries for some natural sweetness. I'll drizzle on some honey. Really load this one up. And that's it you guys, dig in. This is perfect for fall as well. I love to make this when I am loading up for a busy day that keeps me nice and satisfied. The full recipe and directions can be found on coldcorner.com and thank you so much for watching.